Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Still your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, b.k.a. The People's well, Champ, coming to you live with another commentary. Uh, this is going to be my first Red Dead Redemption commentary. Uh, really, you saw right there was kind of like the little loading lobby, and uh, every Red Dead Redemption game starts with this. This is the Mexican standoff. Yeah, I, I think it's really, really very interesting. It's a very interesting take because if you win the standoff, then you get strategic positioning. You can go ahead and, and, and try to get the dead eye, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. And you can try to get to the best spots on the map and get the most important things. You can go get the horses. You can go get the weapons because they're all around the map. Right there, you saw, you saw that they showed me, and they're showing who they suggested I shoot. Right here, this is not very fair just because there's not enough, but it's saying get ready, and the teams are not even is what I'm saying, and draw. Okay, so you're going to see me take the one, first guy out to the left, take the – Take one guy out, oh, two guys in front of me, and there's oh, one guy left. Kind of size him up and take him bitch. down. So That's the right. lawman, which is us, right. won the standoff. And we should have because we, quite frankly, had way more people than they had. But right now what you're going to see is I'm going to hustle up and get the more ammo. And uh, if I wanted to get on the Gatling gun, I could have done that. But right now we're playing Hold Your Own. Hold Your Own is kind of like a capture the flag type game where you go to the – what you want to do, you want to go to the other end, grab somebody's gold bag, grab the other team's gold bag, and come back. Uh – Right now, uh, on this on this level, every level really dictates what weapons you get. Or should I say the weapons that you get are dictated by the level that you're playing on. If you're playing on a smaller level, you're going to have pistols and shotguns. You're playing on a larger level, you'll have pistols and rifles, uh, like the Winchester. Right here, I do believe I have the Winchester. But really what you want to do and hold your own is, like I said, it's like capture the flag. And this is a huge map that we're playing on. And um, this is the first day that I... I had gotten the game and we just decided to play. As you can see, you can have horses on this map. You can just have anything. There's just so much to do there. Cannons, horses, um, Gatling guns, like we said. And, and really, they're just the two points that you control. Now, instead of a flag, there's a bag of gold. And this bag of gold, is it, it sits at the other team's uh, camp. And, and at your camp, you also have a bag of gold. And what you want to do is just more or less take the bag of gold from their camp and take it to your chest while defending your bag of gold. Now, um, like I said, this map is really big, so so there's really a lot that you can be doing. You have to be mindful. You can't stay in one place too long because somebody will catch you with the cannon. Uh, some people may have have picked up the sniper rifles. Uh, someone may be sitting on the Gatling gun and they'll be they'll be using suppressive fire to keep you down. I mean, it's just it's just really so much to do. Right there, you see, I got a, I took one guy down that was trying to hide behind the rock and uh, put put a round through his head with the Winchester. And now I'm trying to size this other cat up and I'm going to take him down here. Uh, took him out and right now we're, what we're trying to do is find the best way to advance it, it, and I get as I get shot I get taken down by the guy that, that had a Winchester as well you want to try to find the best way to advance they had that corridor kind of locked down the, that was the left side so what I decided to do is try to be a little bit more stealthy I'm going to call my uh, I don't know if I call my trusty steed right here Gertrude or not that's my horse in the game I always call it Gertrude so um, I call Gertrude Gertrude rides up and I'm going to go right side since they have that left side fortified. So I, I jump on Gertrude, ride around, you know, going right, going right. See one guy in front of me, that's my friend, CGIG, CGI, CG1E Jackal. He's uh, moving up and he's going to kind of cover me. He says he doesn't see anything is what he's telling me right now. He doesn't see anything. He doesn't see anybody. He has a sniper rifle. So uh, I'm going to move on up and uh, see if I can gain access to the base. Now right here you're going to see I'm coming up on the on the right side, coming in. Uh, see one guy camping behind the wall. I'm gonna try to take him down while I'm on the on the horse, but I'm unsuccessful You're there, and he's hiding because he's afraid You're anyway bad. because I hit him twice. But I'm um, gonna go on over here and and look for the bag. Right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for the bag. Uh, this was the first time I played, like I said, so I didn't really know exactly where the bag was. But I, that that worked in my favor because I got to clear out the area and also got to got to size up anyone that was coming to get me. Now this guy I did get while I was on Gertrude. So I, what I did was uh, go ahead and find a safe place to get off the horse, which is Gertrude. <laughs> And then I grabbed the bag of gold, and then I run back over here to Gertrude, and that is interesting. I didn't know if this would work or not, but uh, obviously it does. I'm going to get shot a couple of times here, but I'm trying to get out. And uh, you know, I, I hadn't gotten the controls all the way down at that time, but uh, right now I'm on the way into the clear. And that was one thing that I was kind of concerned about. I didn't know if it would work or not. I didn't know if I'd be able to get on Gertrude or not and, and ride away. Because um, in some games, if you have... 
the flag and capture the yeah, flag, you can't like access him. a vehicle. Sometimes like you couldn't do that in Halo. I think in this in, the, in Halo Reach, which I played a little bit, I don't think you could do that. I just I'm, I'm not absolutely sure. I didn't play it enough to be sure. But in this game, as you can see, you can get it. You can get the bag, jump over fences with your horse. Your horse really yeah, gives you a we lot of uh, yeah. uh, the upper hand in that that way. And you can just get your horse and and, and you can get back on with the bag. And then go get another bag if you want. Now we're playing defense now. My team team is, but Jocko has moved up in all of the in all of the the the, the, uh, the confusion when I was taking the bag. So you're gonna have one guy up here as an Indian standing up on top. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take him out, which I was unsuccessful in doing because Gertrude and I, you know, she was she was doing her own thing there. She was bucking around, and I, I couldn't really get a good shot on him. So what I did was. I just went. I rolled on up, chased him off. The hey, other guy finished bag, him. I got got a, got my assist. And right here, Jackal is coming right, back, I'm telling me that he's got the bag and he's Damn, gonna need right. some help. I'm so going, what I'm gonna I'm do going is, to you'll see me ride across there. Right, right I looked for two people. Look for look for anyone that was that was going after him, and there was no one. So I went ahead and brought him the horse. I'm jumping off right now. If you saw the unedited version of this video, you heard you heard me say here, take Gertrude. I'll take I'll I'll cover you back. I'm gonna take another horse, and that's the best thing to do if you can. Cause confusion at the at the head of the map, Go and then this. have a what horse for your head. for your player to get in, or if that if your player can get in, your uh, teammates can get in with the horse itself. Game, it like makes it so much game, easier bro. to play this game. Type, you may have seen the unedited version of this video, and I'm saying I think this is the tightest game type on the game, uh, just because the map is so vast. I mean, there's just so many options and so many things bag, you can bag. do, and you're not restricted to just playing old team deathmatch or, or anything like that. You just have so many options, and you can do you can do so much. The the possibilities are really endless with this game type, the way that they are. You see the guy trying to ride up on the other horse, and he took me down. That's my buddy Goodson. Uh, he he had been playing the game all night, and he he really had a better grasp of how to play it than I did. But as you can see, I, I didn't do too too bad. So now I'm spawning back in because I hadn't died in quite a while, and um, trying to get my bearings about me, kind of kind of looking around. And I'm like, uh, I I just didn't really know. You know, I'm just trying to take it all in, and I'm kind of talking to everybody. But really, the thing about this game is it, it, it's a lot of fun. The aiming, you know, people use auto-aim. We were just on casual because I hadn't unlocked the hardcore yet. Aiming is a little cheesy, and, and it feels cheap at times. But if you don't use the auto-aim, then you're going to die. That's really all to it. You, you're not going to be able to beat anyone um, because they're not going to use, quite frankly, they won't use, uh, they won't turn that auto aim off just for respect of the game. So you're going to see me get back going here. Really, you, you, in, even in multiplayer, you just just leave it on casual. If you go to the hardcore, it'll turn it off for you. Don't uh, You see right here the course is kind of glitching, but it's just really trying to spawn in, and it can't spawn in on that hill right there. There are a couple of glitches in this game so far, and and I, I really haven't been really bothered by them. I'm, I know, I'm sure by now you've heard of the invisibility glitch. And the other glitches like that, but I mean that's 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 not a really big deal. I'm sure they'll be worked out here shortly. But really, I mean just the, just the ability. If you like westerns and you liked Grand Theft Auto and you really enjoyed Grand Theft Auto, you will really like this game. And uh, if you're not sure about buying it, just come to, come and check me out on Justin TV. It's Justin TV slash J Easy. I'll leave a link in the description. Just come check it out, and and you'll see how much fun we have with this game. I, I think it's a must buy. It's a great pickup, and in game types like this, hold your own. Which is a, like I said, a new spin on capture the flag. There, there's just so much fun because of, because of how how big the map is and and how how much you you can do. Really, everybody can contribute in their own way. If you want to be the guy that just picks people off as it, as you're defending the flag, that's good. If you want to be the guy that likes to be in the fight and, and moves up and and kind of tries tries to suppress the other team, as I'm doing here now, kind of limiting what they are able to do. You can do that if you want to operate the cannon or the Gatling gun. You can do that. I mean, it's just so much, so much fun. There, I got killed by my own guy. He was on the cannon, and uh, he was he was trying to take people out. As you can see, the cannons are very unforgiving. If you're in the if you're in the line of fire, of that you're just not going to do very well. But really, we won the game here. Uh, I was the MVP, and that really doesn't matter as long as we won. And it was just a great game. So um, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and rate subscribe comment do all of that man and come check us out and we'd love to have you come play with us on on justin tv once again that's going to be justin tv slash jay easy 
And uh, after that, man, that's it. So I'm Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA, the People's Champ. Uh, that's it for today. Later.